in spring if you've got bare patches in your lawn like you can see in the video you may well have chafer grubs or leather jackets these insects will eat away at the root of the plant and leave it prone to weeds i'm going to be applying some nematodes to help tackle this stay tuned parts one and two we talked about controlling weeds, removing coarse grasses, overseeding and levelling your lawn. We're well on our way to getting a fantastic lawn towards the end of spring and into the summer but there are a few more things you can do still to get really great results and ensure that you're keeping the weeds out of your lawn. But how does controlling grubs keep weeds out of our lawn? Everything that we're doing as part of this lawn care regime is designed to provide the best environment for the types of grasses that we want in our lawn that are going to make it look great. This means removing any weeds and filling any bare patches with the types of grass that we want in and also preventing anything that's going to damage that grass that we want in such as grubs and insects. If you're finding any of this information useful please like the video, subscribe to the channel and leave a comment down in the section below. If you can see bore patches like this in the lawn there is a chance that it can be down to insect damage, especially if you notice something in this time of the year around April and May. The two most common types of uh, insects in the UK for this type of damage are chafer grubs and leather jackets. The type of damage that they can cause to your lawn can vary quite a lot, but it can get to really extreme cases where these things can literally destroy your lawn. Here's another spot along the right side, which is something I've just recently overseeded and leveled. But I know this is partly due to grub damage, leather jackets in particular, because I can see them coming out of the lawn and they actually turn into uh, crane flies or daddy long legs is. Seeing these insects around your home and around the lawn is a good way to know that you've probably had some sort of infestation. But it's also quite a good indicator to know when to control them as well because this is the time that they'll reproduce when they come out of the lawn and it's the best time to apply something called nematodes which will help introduce a natural biological leather jacket killer. The type of nematode that we'll be using is Nemesis Biological Killer. It's a biological leather jacket killer which supplements uh, microorganisms that already exist within your soil. It's fast and effective compatible with organic gardening and it's easy to use just to mix them with water. This pack will treat around 100 square meters which is perfect for my size of lawn. So looking at the back of the pack the recommendation is to dissolve the entire contents of the pack in a bucket containing 5 litres of water to create a stock solution. <laughs> Stir vigorously, apply the solution to a tenth of the soil area to be treated, repeat two or three times until the whole area is treated and water it in. The watering can I'm using I got from Amazon and it comes with a detachable uh, hose rose end at the end. I actually drilled some uh, slightly bigger holes to allow all the solution to come through but I find it a really great and easy way to apply this type of stuff onto your lawn.
Like most applications, I'll do a second pass in the opposite direction. This will really help you get a nice coverage across the lawn. If you're unsure, you can actually just do a pass with plain water. This will help you get a feel for how big your lawn is and how fast you need to walk. Or you could always try using a small amount of the solution on a small section of the garden just to get a feel how things are flowing. The last step is to water the lawn in and keep it moist for the following days. If you've got any questions about uh, applying this type of stuff onto your lawn, drop me a comment in the comments section below. I do read all the comments and I'll take time to respond to you. In the next video, I'm going to be talking about some more advanced lawn care treatments that you can apply to your lawn. Until then, I've linked some of my other lawn care videos above and please subscribe to the channel.